Welcome to the series of Legal Maxims. This episode will help you understand the following four maxims. The first one is caveat emptor. It means let the buyer beware. Now let us understand this with the help of an illustration. Mr. A bought a house from Mr. B. Mr. B informed Mr. A about the damaged roof of the house and said that it has been repaired and taken care of. Mr. A bought the house without a proper inspection of the roof. Due to heavy rainfall, the roof collapsed and Mr. A suffered injuries. Mr. A approached the court to recover damages from Mr. B. However, as per the maxim caveat emptor, it is the duty of the buyer to duly inspect everything and be aware before making the purchase. Thus, your Mr. A is not entitled to the remedy. Now let us learn the pronunciation of the maxim. Repeat after me. Caveat emptor. Caveat emptor. The second maxim is caveat venditor. It means let the seller beware. In the case, Srimati Rekha Sahu versus the Yuko Bank, it was observed. When the rule of caveat emptor prevails, it is for the purchaser to either verify the title before purchasing the property or invite complication through litigation. However, now the rule of caveat emptor is replaced by caveat venditor. And when the bank or financial institutions put the property on sale, they must show clear title to the said property. It is pronounced as caveat venditor. Caveat venditor. Shartyurari. A writ by which orders passed by an inferior court is quashed. Illustration. In a particular case, an order was passed by the district court. However, the court did not have the jurisdiction to preside over that case. The aggrieved party approached to the High Court under Article 226 of the Constitution of India. Here, the High Court exercised its power to issue the writ of Shartyurari and quashed the orders passed by the district court in the present case. It is pronounced as Shartyurari. Shartyurari. Corpus. It means body. Now let us understand this with the example of abias corpus. Production of the body of the person alleged to be wrongfully restrained is an essential or a basic requirement in the proceedings of writ of abias corpus. It is pronounced as corpus. Corpus. For more such legal content, do visit our website lawspice.com. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.